Okay, so now we'll try to understand how to draw the velocity diagram for single slider crank mechanism. First, we'll draw the mechanism to a certain scale. So first, we'll draw the crank circle and crank is making some angle of theta with the inner data center that is IDC. Now we'll draw the connecting rod to a certain scale and then this is the piston. OA is the crank and AB is the connecting rod. Now, here suppose we assume that a crank OA is rotating in the clockwise direction and therefore velocity of A with respect to O will be perpendicular to this position of the crank and A with respect to O and therefore we have written the vector as A velocity of A with respect to O where O is the fixed point. In case of the connecting rod AB, neither A is fixed nor B is fixed. So either we can find out velocity of B with respect to A or A with respect to B because both of them they are the floating points. Suppose we consider over here that we are finding out velocity of B with respect to A. Then B is the piston which is sliding with respect to fixed point. So velocity of B with respect to O will be parallel to the path of sliding. So we can say that when the link is rotating or oscillating, so this is the rotating link that is the crank is rotating in this circle, velocity is always tangential velocity is always perpendicular to the link. Here also for the oscillating link also it is perpendicular to this particular link A. Whereas for the piston which is the sliding link the velocity is parallel to the path of sliding. Now we will draw a line which is parallel to this vector to a certain scale then suppose this is velocity of a with respect to o and parallel to this vector to a certain scale that we have drawn now we'll come to the second vector second vector is what it is velocity of b with respect to a out of b and a a point is known so from A, draw a line parallel to this particular line. Then the third vector, B with respect to O. Out of B and O, O point is known. So from O point, draw a line parallel to this vector. Wherever these two vectors, they intersect, that is our point of intersection. Because here also we are having velocity of B with respect to A. And in this vector also we are having velocity of b with respect to o b is the common point so that is the point of intersection so we can say that this is velocity of b with respect to o this is velocity of b with respect to a now the arrows they are important because vectors are represented not only in magnitude but in direction also now as we are finding out velocity of b with respect to a arrow must be towards b and here as we are finding out velocity of b with respect to o arrow must be towards B.